Welcome to History and Firearms. In this series, we will be running historic military surplus firearms through modern shooting drills. This is a fun way to experience how these firearms may have been used in a combat environment and some of the quirks that go along with them. It also provides some metrics that can be used to compare these firearms. To gain more insight into how these firearms might have been used, period correct ammunition pouches will be used as well. As in modern shooting standards, all these drills will start with the firearm unsafe. Today, we will be using the three-line rifle model 9130, commonly called a Mosin Nagant. Originally adopted by the Russian Empire in 1891, the M9130 is an updated variant adopted in 1930. It saw service with Russia as their primary service rifle through World War II and is the most prolific of the Mosin Nagant variants. It weighs 8 pounds 13 ounces and is 48 and a half inches long. The Mosin Nagant uses a cock on open, turn bolt action, and is chambered for the 7.62 by 54 mm rimmed cartridge. The rifle is loaded with 5 round stripper clips, and this will be done from a canvas 2 cell ammunition pouch. The first drill is going to be the Bear Solutions Shooting Standards drill. Typically this is five rounds on one rectangle, five rounds on the other rectangle, empty gun reload, and then three rounds in the circle in the center. For this Millsurp Operator video series, we're going to reduce the round count. We're going to do two on one rectangle, two on the other rectangle, empty gun reload, and one into the center circle. We're going to do this drill and these following drills, we're going to do all these at 10 yards. This drill is going to be what's called the quads drill from T-Rex Arms. Typically it's four rounds in one circle, empty gun reload, four rounds in the other circle. But for this, we're going to reduce the round count down to two rounds in one circle, empty gun reload, two rounds in the other circle. This is going to be the one reload three drill. Pulled this from Amy 556's website. It's going to be one round in the A zone on the target, empty gun reload, two rounds to the A zone, and then one round to the head.
Before getting into my observations, I do want to note that I accidentally ran the one reload three drill as a three reload one drill. With the metrics that have been tracked in this series, this really does not make a big difference though, other than the reload split time possibly being slightly longer because the target area after the reload is smaller. So with that out of the way, what did I find? The safety was actually easier to disengage than I expected and could be done with the rifle in the shoulder. With the sight set at 100 meters, the impacts were about an inch or two below the point of aim, so there was not much holdover for an offset. The U-notch and post sights are fine, and the circular front sight protector aids in finding the front sight, which I think sets these sights above the other post and notch sights without a front sight protector. I think this is a factor in the first round times being better than several other rifles in this series. I did not have any problems with the ammunition pouch. Being secured on the front of the pouch I think is easier and faster than the bottom, and the clips were easy to get out. Loading the rifle was more difficult than other rifles as anticipated, but was actually not as bad as I expected. The stripper clips I used were Russian manufacturer. The rifle is noticeably longer than the other rifles in the series, and I felt like it had a tendency to come out of my shoulder more than the others. The action is clunky, lacking the smoothness of many of the other rifles, and takes more force to operate, thus increasing split times. As for the drills, other than running the third drill out of order, they all went pretty smoothly and there were no big hiccups. Overall, I was not really looking forward to using this rifle on these drills, but it turned out to be better than expected. That being said, the Mosin ended up as the slowest rifle or close to for all the metrics tracked in this series. Thanks for watching! If you found this video interesting or helpful, go ahead and give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Then let us know what you thought or would like to see with a comment. If you would like to support the channel, a link to our Patreon page is in the description. Or you can become a subscriber on Utreon. If you want to show off your Millsurp Operator skills, follow History and Firearms on social media and tag us with hashtag Millsurp Operator. Links to all these drills and a shooting time comparison for all the videos in this series are in the description. For more information on this firearm and others, head on over to historyandfirearms.com.